Hi everybody, I'm Kerry Dell and I am a master coach and today I am going to tell you about the Alcajaza smoothie made famous by the Wild Fit Challenge and Eric Edmonds. So the Alcajaza smoothie is the green one, it's the green smoothie, but it's so important to understand why those ingredients are in there and what they do for the body. So I'm going to share my screen with you and I'm going to show you exactly why some of those ingredients are in there. First of all, you have the spinach. So yes, we want to do two handfuls of spinach into your Alcajaza smoothie. And you can put that in right at the end after all the other ingredients. But the reason why we do spinach is because Spinach is really low in calories, but we're not even counting the calories. We are counting the nutrients that are coming into your body. So it's really high in vitamin A and K. It's high in magnesium. It's got fiber. It's a protein source. It's a calcium source. It's got so many benefits as far as blood pressure, lowering cholesterol, and just overall brain function, anti-inflammatory, um, promotes healthy skin. It's, um, it's really an incredible vitamin E source as well, with, as well as zinc. So um, it fights infection and helps the immune system. The, the spinach in a smoothie is not just there to make it look green. It's there to help your body every step of the way. My favorite favorite, and it never used to be, by the way, it never used to be, I was one of those that could not stand celery. Celery has become my favorite friend because I know what it does. I know that it reduces the inflammation and the acidity in your body. It calms the nerves. It aids your digestive system. It helps with arthritis, with kidney stones, with gallstones, with all of those because those are all acidic. So when you've got all of the, that acidity in your body and you've got one thing that can help with remove the toxins, remove the acidity and help with anti-inflammatory, celery is the one thing to do it. So celery has to go in. I normally put a whole stalk, one long stalk of celery into my, um, into my smoothie. And then my, um, my other favorite is cucumber. Now I love cucumber on itself, by itself. Um, it's just so juicy for me. I think that high water content helps with the hydration in the body. But um, uh, cucumber has so many other benefits. It really um, reduces all the gut toxins, so really good for digestion as well. Um, it reduces your cholesterol too. It helps regulate your body temperature. It promotes your hair growth. Yay for that strong hair. It helps with joint health, um, with, um, with making your body more alkaline. Um, it soothes the muscle pains as well, helps with disease in the gums, um, really helps connective tissue. Connective tissue is hugely important. Connective tissue to me is like your, your, body, your body suit. So we really need to look after that. Um, it regulates your blood pressure. It's also got so many vitamins in that you, you might not have thought about, but it's vitamin A, vitamin B, um, B1, B6, vitamin C, vitamin D. It's got calcium, magnesium, potassium. So, so many good benefits to celery. And then my last green one is, um, is possibly my favorite. <laughs> it's the avocado. It's the avocado. So, Avocado is a natural fat. And when you're putting natural fats into your body, it gives the signal to your body to reduce the stored fats. So avocados are brilliant for you to have in your smoothies and it makes it nice and creamy. So you don't need to add any yogurts or anything else. You've got your smoothie, your um, avocado in your smoothie to do that. So avocado helps with weight release. It helps with all symptoms like arthritis. Um, it lowers your cholesterol as well, helps with your eyes, um, really does help with um, your liver. So once again, helps the digestive organs as well. It's high in vitamin K. It helps your skin. And best of all, best of all, it's really good in stabilizing your moods. So those are the main four ingredients. It's your avocado. It's your celery, it's your cucumber, it's your spinach. So what I do is I do a stalk of celery. I do a nice big chunk of cucumber. I do at least half an avocado. If your avos are really big, you only need a quarter. Um, the avo makes it thick. So if you prefer thin smoothies, then have less avo. 
Um, and then your spinach, I'd say two handfuls of baby spinach. I love baby spinach, but you can change up those leafy greens as well. You can try kale, you can try bok choy, you can put in different types of leafy greens and change it up every day. But those four main ingredients for me are key to you, to you getting the nutrients into your body and helping you flush the toxins and getting your health on track. Then you can experiment. Add an apple, add a banana, add some blueberries, add some ginger, add some mint. I've had people even add bone broth and chilies. So you can really change it up however you want. But those four green ingredients are going to get you to your next level of your health. So enjoy your Alcajaza smoothie every single morning before your breakfast, before your coffee and teas. Have the Alcajaza. Fill your body up full of nutrients. Put in all this living food into your body and just make sure. I, mean, I normally, I love about 750 mils. That's how, how much I, but even if you just do 500 mils a day, amazing amazing for your body for me it's like it's giving me my energy for my day it's giving me my energy and my energy can then be sustained throughout the day because i've put the good stuff in right at the very beginning so enjoy your daily alcajazas enjoy your your brand new smoothie that you're going to experiment with play with the amount of ingredients that you're going to do and know how much good it's doing for your body enjoy